Let us see how to convert separate left and right interlist full HD video clips into full side-by-side -side progressive video clips, which can be imported by many different 3D video editors, like for example Sony Movie Studio. Uh, we start from separate left and right files, which are shown here. Each stereo clip is in MVC form, which was made by uh, my GVC 3D camcorder. The files were previously separated into left and right uh, files by using program MVC to AV converter. The files are AV interlaced clips encoded by UT Video Codec. Most of Consumer 3D Concorders are producing interlist footage instead of progressive ones and here we will see how to obtain high quality and high resolution progressive clips out of the original interlist footage. How do we know that the separated AV clips are interlist? Uh, play the file and observe moving objects. You will see typical interlist lines as will be shown here. For example, here is one of those files. We can see a little horizontal lines here and when the hand is moving we can see that those lines are even longer. This is typical for interlist files. Let us now do the mentioned conversion by using 3D converter. Uh, the input files are separate left and right clips, so we choose separate left and right files. The input file type is AV, where each frame is encoded separately using UT video codec, so we choose AV source. Otherwise, you should choose direct show source. Output format is full side by side so we choose side by side. The file prefix is not left blank since we decided that the output file has a prefix, prefix final. Uh, the chosen color space should be YV12. Why? Because uh, we would like to encode the final video with some encoder options which tolerate only YV12 or in other words 420 color space. Know that many encoding options will run without errors only in YV12 color space. Okay, it will not change any frame rates and will not use any advanced processing like blending frames, matching colors or applying the shaker. Under FFmpeg tab, we will choose the preset which already include the interleasing before encoding the video file. There are few such presets. First of them is Lib Libix 264D int and the second one is Libix 264D int 5060p. There are some other uh, presets including the interlacing here but we'll now uh, focus on those two. What is the difference between those two? If the original video file is interlaced, a file with 25 frames per second or in other words with 50 video fields per second, the Libix 264 the int will create the output progressive file with 25 frames per second, while Libix 264D int 5060p will create 50 progressive frames per second. So, isn't the second option better? Yes, but if our final movie will have 25 or 30 progressive frames per second, and if we would not need slow motion from our clips, the first option is more than enough. However, okay, in our case we'll select Libix 
D int 50 60 P. Uh, note that all presets without the interleasing option can deinterlease the files before encoding by adding those two words uh, two words inside uh, inside parameters field. You see? So I will now copy Ctrl C into uh, into parameters field. Just for fun, let us create a new preset which is based on UT video encoder. It is shown here, UT video here, but which will deinterlease video file before encoding. So what we should have to add here, just add those two words, minus VF and Yadif. This will create 25 progressive uh, frames from uh, from uh, 50 interleased footage or 30 progressive frames from 60 interleased uh, footage. If we want to have 50 progressive or 60 progressive frames, just we can add equals one here. So we can now create new preset name. So let us create UT video. Uh, Dint 50 60p. Why 50 60p? Because we have this option for 50 and 60 progressive frames per second. Okay, now we can save this new preset and this preset now will appear here under presets. Just open this, open here, and at the end we see that we have UT video D int 50 60p. Okay. Just for this uh, introduction, we can choose this one. It will create uh, MPEG-4 file uh, with, with uh, 60 progressive frames per second. Uh, 3D Converter always creates AVSynth out of files from the chosen input video files. However, in order to make the output video files, by using FFmpeg encoder, the following two options at the bottom should be checked. It means that 3D Converter will create batch file with FFmpeg encoding options and then it will automatically run that batch file which will produce the final video file. Okay, now we can select the input files. Go to File and Convert Files. First we select Left Files. Let us see, 3D, Left, Left, okay, and then Right Files, Right and Right. Be careful to select them in the same order. Now, the created batch file is automatically executed and FFmpeg is encoding the output video file. After some time, the conversion is finished and we can see the results. Uh, those four files are the original interlist files so the original uh, input video files and the output full side-by-side -side files are those two. As we can see, 3D Converter also created two AVSynth files and one batch file. Now that names of the final files are the same as the input files, besides the prefix string final underscore uh, we previously defined in output settings tab and since the output file is side by side the left right or LR letters are added before extension. Let us check if the output files are really progressive. So let us open one of those files. Mm. 
weight will we'll make it a little smaller to see, yes, and maybe a little bigger here. And wait uh, for some moving, yes, it's here. So the hand is moving and now we don't see any interlaced lines present in the final file uh, at any magnification. So it is real progressive progressive file. Uh, we can also check the uh, uh, if the file is uh, 50 or 60 P progressive. Let us go into the file, go into the properties, media info, and here we can see that we have the file which is 3840 pixels wide and 1080 pixels high and we have 60 progressive frames or 59.94 frames per second.